on the Shot 104.1, St. Louis source for hip hop and R&B broadcast live 2017 BET Awards, Boogie D Smash Radio, and I'm sitting with a BET Awards version, getting that cherry pop right now, <laughs> coming from Detroit. Yeah. But wait a minute, because in the song, I heard, I heard, did I hear Kentucky? Would, would I hear Kentucky in you the heard, song? You heard Kentucky. So is it Detroit or Kentucky? It's Detroit, but I did time in Kentucky, though. All right. T Grizzly. What up? What's up, though, bro? I mean, you kind of just came out of nowhere, blew up, and now I look at you. Yeah. I mean, I mean fast. It's a blessing. That ain't, no, that ain't nothing but God. So, okay, let's break this down. First of all, shout out to my man A plus into the D right now. Yeah. And I know when he first got, when he left St. Louis and went to Detroit, you went up there and met him when he got to the station. Yeah. What what what, in, what made you just want to go up there and meet the dude? I mean, you plus. know, you know we, we, we show love to, to who show love to us, and he was rocking with me and supporting me. My manager had told me about him. Like, oh, somebody new up here, we got to go, you know what I'm saying, rock with him, give him our blessings, and let him know. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? We support him. And okay. I appreciate y'all for sending us a good dude. You know? No, no. Uh, I, yeah, we want him back, but we're going <laughs> to let y'all keep him high. Right? It's all good. All right, so let's let's break down the T Grizzly story. Right. Because the song kind of came, and everybody was, like, into the song and everything like that. So it's really where well, a lot of people just first heard of you or hearing your story. So what's the story? The story is I'm a dude from a black community. You know, we got the same struggles. You feel me? Made some bad decisions, got locked up, ended up being a blessing in disguise because I found myself, you know what I'm saying? Came home, told my story, and it blew up in my face. I ain't even expected to do all that. Did you, did you, when you made the record, was it more of you just getting stuff out and you never thought it would become a massive hit? When I made the record, bro, I'm just writing. I'm just writing like how I be writing. Uh huh. Like how I write any other song. That's just, I'm just writing like just that. Just writing, just I'm, did it. I'm just writing. But I'm telling my story. I tell my story in every song. Like, I. Everything I rap is facts. So this is just, I wouldn't know, no, all right, this is going to be the one, so let me put it all in here. If I had the formula, I'd do it every time. Every time. Okay, so now, were you signed when this record dropped, or were you just still an independent artist out of Detroit? When this record dropped out, that was my first day out of prison. You made, okay, let's back this up. You recorded it your first day out. My so when you when you really got out, you went to the studio. Went straight to the studio. Went straight to the studio. So this is this the first record you cut or a first several? First record. This the first, first record. First record. Dude, that's lightning in the bottle, B. Yeah. Lightning in the bottle. Yeah. And then put it out there and it just went. Went crazy. Now you repping with 300. Yeah. Big situation. Crazy. Icy over here. <laughs> You're looking. All right, is that a icy bear? Yeah. Why? It's a grizzly bear. It's... T Grizzly, T Grizzly, Bear, T Grizzly, got it. Yeah. So, so now that everything's been moving as fast as it's been, now you here at the BET Awards. How you liking your first BET experience? I'm loving it. It's like a dream. You know, I grew up on this. Eight months ago, I was sitting in prison watching this. I didn't think this was ever possible for me to get on here. Are I always you, dreamed about it, but I never thought I'd get on. Here. Are you touching any other BET stages this week? Yeah, I touched one already. My people's recorded it, sent me pictures. I was on TV yesterday on BET. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm doing there again today. So you no longer a BET version. Congratulations. Got that cherry popped right here in L.A. You know what I mean? It's all yeah. good. <laughs> all right. So what's the next situation? Next situation, I'm going to keep it going. Keep it going. Keep telling my story. But this time, it's going to be the, the the good part. The good part? The good part. All right. Have you already moved the fam in Detroit? Yeah. Everything's go everything's going good? Yeah, everything's going good. Appreciate it. When you, when you coming back to St. Louis? I'm coming back to St. Louis on the promoters booking. <laughs> That. <laughs> you said, look, cut, you I, said, get I the bag ready. Yeah, get, get the, the bag, bag ready. I can't travel unless it's for a show. You know, I'm on parole. Currently. Okay. I can't travel unless it's for a show. So they ain't waiting on me. I'm waiting on them. So you, but you learned a lesson from Kodak. Uh, was it Kodak Black? Well, yeah, Kodak it's Kodak because yeah, he missed that Super Jam. Like, talk to talk to the parole officer before you travel. Yeah, no definitely. matter how much the bag is, definitely. Because they can snatch this from you at any point. E even before Kodak, I was I wasn't on that because I don't want to go back. <laughs> you feel me? I feel you. I look crazy walking back through there. No doubt. Appreciate it, T Grizzly. First time we get a chance to meet, me, man. No doubt. Yeah, it's I want a four point one.